In today's video, we are going to be creating new Mortal Kombat characters based off of you guys, the community, and your fan suggestions for NetherRealm Studios to create new original characters in the Mortal Kombat universe. We're going to be diving deep into their backstory, their play style, and what they would visually look like. So with that being said, make sure to drop a comment down below on what character you would want to see in the next part of this video. I'll be making this a series because I think that you guys, the community, deserve a voice and you guys have some awesome ideas for characters and I can tell you these are some of the best that I've heard so far. This is technically part three of this series so if you do not want to miss the other two videos make sure to go check them out because we talked about some really really cool characters. I'll be using mid journey to generate what these characters would look like with some manual photoshop as well to make them look even better. With that being said make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button to help me reach this massive goal of 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're only like 800 subscribers away so if you want to help with that make sure to hit that subscribe button with that being said let's just jump right into it so the first request we have here is coming from Mary Grace and Elisha, and this is a character that I think everyone is going to want anyway, and this is the offspring of Reptile and Ashra. This would be a demonic, satarian character that is like a demon, lizard, reptile monster. It would be super cool. Mary Grace gives it the name Lilith, and I think that that's an awesome name, while Elisha wants this character to have sword-based attacks. Now, I did two different versions of this character, one that follows more of the reptile genes that makes them look a little bit more reptilian that makes her you know look like a warrior she has this really cool armor she looks more like reptile taking after her dad now i also thought that it'd be cool to give her more of her mom's genes with Ashra. I think Ashra has a really cool style with like the angel, like the angelic demonic figure. So she looks like angelic while also looking like a reptilian demon. It's super, super cool looking with the sword base attacks would be so cool. I think an awesome fatality for this character would obviously be using like the sword to open up their opponent while also using like the reptile base of their genes to like melt them with some acid. I think that this is a character that we are going to see anyway. I think Netherrealm is really setting them up. They they basically at this point confirmed that Ashra and Reptile are a thing. And if we're getting more combat kids, I would love to see one that is half Reptile, half Ashra. It would just work perfectly. So great request. Our next request comes from Eggplay420 and the Real V Bros, who want a medieval knight in Mortal Kombat. I am so for, I'm I'm super super for this character. I love medieval knights, but there's a little twist. This character's backstory involves a fallen army who has bonded their souls together into a single entity in this hollow knight suit. The suit of armor is empty. It's just full of different souls you know combined inside the suit with this blue aura and glow that i wanted to get it to really make it feel different than a character like ermac who controls a bunch of different souls this is an entire army who has bonded together creating the ultimate warrior using a giant sword as his main weapon they also give a really detailed explanation for a fatality that would be really cool where the suit of armor opens up they take the opponent put them inside of the hollow armor, close it, and then their body just melts away and it leaks and seeps through the seams of the armor. I think that this is perfect. Here's a visualization that I put together. I, it looks like Nickelodeon slime, but that's just because of YouTube monetization purposes. Um, but with that being said, I think this is an awesome, awesome character. I'm not sure what we would name this guy, but he definitely looks badass. Great request. All right, our third character is going back to the roots of Mortal Kombat, and I mean that pun intended. This one comes from ECVJan69, where they want a character called Rotten or Bush. I think Bush works a little bit better. That is a light colored ninja that can control grass, moss, thorns, plants, all types of stuff. Now, I think this is really, really cool idea. A plant wielder would be super cool. They talk about using different spikes on his back like a cactus and using a Venus flytrap to trap his opponents like in a fatality or something like that. He could maybe even be Reptile's brother. They also talk about using vines as like a whip for like uh, Takeda or Scorpion type purposes. I think that there's a lot that we could do with a character like this. And I think 
the visualization for this character looks awesome they look like a ninja i gave them a little bit of red in there to really spice up the co the colors a little bit i think the cactus abilities would be really really cool with the thorns i think some really cool ideas can be done especially if you look at like cetrion's powers in mortal kombat 11 with using the vine like maybe you could entangle the opponent with vines and then spit these like cactus spikes into them for a fatality that just like destroys them or you know plant a seed by punching them in like the stomach or something and then this giant like tree comes out of it that's like a venus fly trap and then the venus fly trap comes down and eats the rest of their body i don't know there's so much possibilities with a plant wielder this is a great request thanks for leaving the comment and like i said if you guys want your ideas in the next video make sure to leave a comment down below all right our next request comes from Ryu uncut from the last video they said I don't know if anyone said this yet but they want a humanoid character that can control glass a few of the moves include teleportation through glass creating mirrors that can reflect enemy projectiles now I think this is a great idea personally when I was making these characters I really wanted a character that was similar to what this person was talking about where they are a glass bender I think that glass and mirrors could be really really cool in a Mortal Kombat play style being able to like they said teleport through mirrors or maybe use reflections to take the enemy's projectiles and shoot it right back to them or having like a giant you know glass sword or something like that it'd be really really cool these are some of the visualizations i want their character design to have like this broken shattered glass around them that just looks really really cool maybe they can use this glass and manipulate it to make it like bigger or make or throw these shards like throwing stars i think that there's a lot that we could do with glass that maybe is similar to sub-zero but different in the way where there is like a reflectability to it and maybe they can even you know go into like a mirror dimension or maybe they could scramble the opponent's like controls and make their controller like flipped where you know the thumbstick and everything is actually you're like a b x y and your a b x y is actually your move set now like i think there's so much that they could do uh they could maybe flip the map upside down they could do a whole bunch of different stuff with this like mirror glass ability but with that being said awesome request i love 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 characters like this the next character we have here is one of the more fun ones this comes from dead on arrival from the previous video they want a character that uses mushrooms and spores for their special moves and i think that this is a great idea and i even replied to them saying is this kamori from my hero academia which if you haven't seen is a character that looks exactly like this character that we're talking about right now that is just full-on mushroom aesthetic they use mushrooms and spores to their abilities and i think that this is a character that can actually work really well if you've seen my hero you probably underestimated this character until you saw what she could do imagine mushrooms growing on your freaking arms dude or growing out of your face that is what this character can do fungus is no joke there is a lot of poisonous types of mushrooms that we have no clue how to recreate and this is a character that can do that at their will they even talk about making mushrooms that can explode or setting like mushroom landmines or using you know whips that are made out of vines to entangle their enemies i think that there's a lot of opportunity here this is a character i would easily easily want to see that has a very unique style to them a unique play style visually very very cool great request i love 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 fun characters that are a little bit gimmicky so if you guys have any gimmick type characters make sure to leave a comment all right our next character is a character that i actually really really want to see in the next game this comes from crash riot 3930 from the last video who requested a cyborg ninja that can use his limbs like iron man where they break apart similar to havoc where they use their arms and stuff like weapons a head as a bomb arms as swords and legs walking on their own this would be really really cool but i think i found the perfect use for a character like this and that is as a training bot for you when you're playing the tutorial for a new character or want to practice your combos i think it'd be perfect if the person you were fighting was like this cyber character who spilled oil instead of blood so that way we could use them for YouTube monetization purposes for once and this character is someone that can like fall apart and really show you know what your character is going to do in a real match but after you're done practicing I kind of based it off of some real steel esque characters um, because I do love real steel it's a very very awesome movie if you haven't seen it that has to do with fighting robots 
I would just love a character that's like a like simple robot boxer who can fall apart, who can put himself back together. If he had a fatality, I would love to see him just like basically beating the crap out of you so much that his body is like falling apart, kind of like Havoc. Like he punches you so much and your his, his boxing gloves are like falling off and like the wires are coming out and they're sparking on your face and everything. And then he like rips his head off and crushes you with it and just puts it back on. There's so much that they could do with a detachable robot character. It's really, really cool. I would love to see a training bot type character in Mortal Kombat for sure. Sure. Someone who's our favorite punching bag. All right, our next character is definitely one of the more badass ones. Coming from a request by Eric Hollis, who wants a Viking fighter who dual wields axes, has lightweight armor, and is similar to Nightwolf and Reiko. Now, I definitely took some Nightwolf inspiration when giving the dual axes this green, fiery glow. I thought that if Nightwing wasn't in, you know, a roster, I would definitely want this character to have a similar style. And I definitely took some inspiration from Reiko when making him look like a brawl type brawler type characters never get old especially Raikos he's super fun to play in Mortal Kombat 1 I would love to see a Viking play like this too his backstory for the character is that the cons raided his farm killed his family and his army and now this Viking character is on the hunt ever since now I think that's an awesome backstory but once you hear this fatality I had to take a I had to take a second to think about it Eric Hollis wants his fatality to be a blood eagle. What? Now, if you don't know what a blood eagle is, this is something, theoretically, there isn't a lot of historic evidence for this, that Vikings would do to kill a significant person, where they would take their enemy, they would strap them up with their arms out, take a blade, back of the neck, all the way down to the bottom, come from the back, pause, open up their back, destroy their rib cage, take out their lungs, and and hang them over their shoulders. Now, that is a very extreme way to take out an enemy. I don't know if it's actually been recorded that a real one has happened, but I can tell you right now, Mortal Kombat would give it the hype it deserves. And I think that seeing a Blood Eagle in Mortal Kombat would easily be one of the most intense fatalities we've seen in the modern era. With that being said, awesome freaking request. Let's get more of these. All right, guys, the time has come for our final character of the video. This comes from Mage, I guess, who wants a witch-like character that puts spells and curses on the opponent, like Enchantress from Injustice 2. Now, we know from Rain's bio that magic users exist, and with that being said, this is the perfect time to add more magic-based characters in Mortal Kombat. I gave them more of this, like, red theme going out there. I definitely took some inspiration from, like, Scarlet Witch and Enchantress, like, mixed together. Um, that has, like, this red cloak with this, like, black accent that uses, like, this red magic. I think it would be really, really cool. We definitely need a magic-using character like this in Mortal Kombat. They even give some ideas for their fatal blow where they would take their spirit out of their body and then they would use magic to do whatever they did to the spirit, like throw spikes in it or whatever. And whatever they did to this like spirit that's outside of their body would happen to the real body at the same time, which would be really cool. They even give a really cool fatality where they want them to create a demon that comes out of their body and like rips their body apart as the demon is emerging that is insane dude that is literally crazy now i think this is the perfect time to add more characters like this that have more magic based abilities i think it's the perfect time really really dive deep into these characters because mortal kombat i tell you these characters can give you some real creative fatalities with that being said guys that is our final character of the video now these were the top eight choices that i chose from the last video so make sure you guys leave your suggestions in the bottom of this video if you guys want a good chance of being in the next video make sure to name your character give your character a backstory and tell me what they look like and with that being said i want to hear your guys's awesome suggestions in the comments so leave them down below 
If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I'm trying to reach 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we're only just under 800 subscribers away. So if you want to help me reach that goal, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to check out the other two parts of this series, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have fun. Be respectful.